Hey everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. If you like watching Matter Hackers Minutes, please, please subscribe to our channel. If you would like to watch the previous Matter Hackers Minute, you can do so right here. Working here at Matter Hackers, I've realized that everyone has their own brand of geek. Some people are Star Wars geeks, some people are video game geeks, cosplay geeks, me? I'm obviously a 3D printing geek, and a total musical theater geek. And the inspiring story I'm about to share with you, it has both. Let's talk about our 3D shifters. Netanel Balesh and Angelo Soriano develop and sell 3D printed drones, skate wheels, and e-scooter signal lights. They're based in Manhattan, New York City. Know why? Because they met because they were both in Disney's Aladdin on Broadway. What? Yes, they were performing in the show. Not only were they performing in the show, but they got their first 3D printer and they were messing around with it when the props people came up and they asked if they could 3D print a better saxophone prop than the one that they had that kept on breaking. They were able to design something that could be printed in parts that were small enough to print on their FlashForge inventor, and then they assembled the pieces together. The final result was one jump ahead of the previous prop and was used in the show. Netanel comes from an extensive 3D modeling and animation background, and Angela was immersed in the world of RC drone piloting. They left Broadway, sad, and started R3D Shifters when they realized that by combining their unique abilities, they could solve some tough issues in the drone community with a little theatrical flair. To make usable, well, crashable drones, uh, they needed to design for lightweight construction and use very strong 3D printing material. Our 3D shifter frames can weigh as little as 3.2 grams and are designed to be customizable and inexpensive. They updated their FlashForge inventor with a glass bed and an all-metal hot end so they can primarily print with Nylon X, which is a carbon fiber infused nylon perfect for lightweight durability. They also use MatterHackers Pro Pet G and NinjaFlex for some other applications. Aside from common post-processing techniques like sanding, filling, and priming, they've also had success using resin bond to join 3D printed parts, similar to using acetone on ABS for strong assembly adhesion. After many years of using 3D Studio and Maya for design, they switched to Blender in support of its developers and the free 3D community. Netanel says that for our 3D shifters, 3D printing is the perfect marriage of art and engineering. The ability to fabricate their own designs means a lot more than just the production of parts. It's the creativity behind it. It's the joy of innovation and the excitement behind a successful development. For them, seeing an R3D shifter's drone frame up in the air, utilizing all the benefits of Nylon X, and receiving praise from professional pilots was hugely rewarding. Even on a personal, non-commercial level, Netanel says that with 3D printing, once you realize you can create any part you want, it becomes an absolute joy to improve and modify everything around you, especially improving on mechanisms or replacing broken parts that otherwise would have required scrapping the entire thing. Can we get back to Aladdin though? Because they made way more cool stuff. The wig mounts that were being used in the show would always crack and break down when the wig was clamped onto it. Not only were they able to 3D print replacements at a fraction of the original cost, but they also improved the design by 3D printing these cones with TPU, which is a flexible rubber-like filament, rather than the hard plastics that crack. Now that is like a whole new world. A whole new world. At R3D Shifters, they love these, can you make me uh, requests? Because with 3D printing, the answer always seems to be yes. To learn more about Netanel and Angelo's work, click the links below. Are you using 3D printing to solve problems in your business or Broadway musical? Leave me a comment, I'll totally buy tickets. I'm Mara, and this has been your Matter Hackers Minute. And you ain't never had a friend like me. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, give us a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe for more useful and inspiring stories from the 3D printing community. You can also go to matterhackers.com to find the desktop machines and materials you need to bring your story to life.